This month's swing crawl knee core, we're doing the single arm hang rotation. So if you're starting out with this, both feet on the ground, keep it simple, really try and feel the positions. So you've got the dead hang position, you're gonna rotate around, feet on the ground, around, up, and you're going up towards that German hang position, but just with one arm. As you come back around, gonna come up into that scap. Retraction with the underhand grip. And release. As you're feeling stronger in it, you can take more weight out of the ground and work up to that full body weight version where you'll come around, swing, pull up into that German hand. And then as you come out and around, you're gonna come up, here the rings rotating, sort of in into that retracted pull. Now if you've got a bar, it works a lot better. Or if the ring is quite tight to what it's attached to, it won't rotate like that, so you can actually rotate your body around. Um, that one just starts to rotate but it's hanging a bit lower. If I pull it up tight to the bar, it works well, but or just use the bar. It's a bit nicer um, to have that feeling of rotation of your body rotating under your anchored arm. Now for the crawl, we're doing a reptile crawl. This one is quite challenging, so many videos of it online, um, watch people crawling around. But you want to feel that opposite arm, opposite leg. So the base one is just getting that crawl, reach with the hand and the opposite knee. And then you can come to the toes, getting that. Once you've got that down, you can start to lift that leg and rotate the hips more. Drop the hips down. Feeling that rotation. You can add in the push up. So coming down in that push up, press up, change, push up. From there, you want to work on staying low. You can even put weight on the ground so you get the feel of it. Curl the leg, the opposite leg with the hand as it comes around. Pivot, turn to the other side. So here, this leg will curl as this one slides around to reach and then turn to the other side. Once you've got the movement now, then you can add the load and go full body weight. It's a pretty heavy movement. Uh, There's kind of like that isometric one arm push up position at the bottom. Even when you're changing over here, the goal is to stay nice and low. Get that nice control through there. But definitely just work with the one that feels good. Um, doing 30 seconds of that, then we're going into a split sissy. So you can use something to hold on to, just keeping it square and then focusing on that sissy on the back leg, trying to open up the front of the hip. You can add it in the rotations, but you want to strengthen that back quad. And if you're just starting with it, just getting that. 15 seconds isometric hip side is great. And the further you lean back, obviously the heavier it's going to be. Now, we've got the anchored version of the leg curl, the body weight leg curl. This is a very tough movement. And the other thing, if you don't have something to anchor from, you can obviously, your partner can hold you, or you can just do some form of other bend. So, even just a straight leg bend, or a single leg, and doing it bent. Um, or stiff-legged, working that each side, or just a 15 second hold each side. This one's quite cool. I just got some pads down for the knees because it does put a bit of pressure into the knee. Anchor the feet under. And then you want to develop the hip hinge with this to condition it. So get enough length that you can get those hamstrings on. And then doing the band and using the upper hamstring. Um, it is very heavy doing the lower hamstring. You can do the push-up version, but try not to pipe the hips. Oh, it's heavy. Um, but full body weight of those, a lot of strength, so don't rush into that. Last thing you need to do is tear a hamstring muscle. So getting that pull push and quite a hamstring. Get it done, three rounds of that's pretty sweet.